Hi everybody, it's Ari Stowe. I'm the Solutions Consultant here at Beyond20, and today we're going to be taking you through Problem. So to create a problem, there are a couple of different options. You can come to Common Tasks and click on Create Problem from here. You can come up to the File New section and create a problem from here. You can go to the New drop-down, select Problem, or hit Control shift p So we'll go ahead and create a new problem. Once a problem is created, you'll see there are a couple of things that are required before we can save it. We're required to put in a short description, so in this case we'll say upstairs printer not printing. We'll go ahead and enter a description. This is a full rich text field, so you can always enter screenshots, inline images, or numbered items. So we can say printer not printing, spooler reset didn't resolve the issue. All right, so we'll go ahead and say OK. Now we're going to need to select a service and category to categorize this problem. In this case, we obviously know our issue is a printing issue, and our category is going to be a network printer. For priority, we're going to go ahead and select a department-wide high uh, urgency issue, so this will mark this problem as a level 2 problem. Before we actually save this, I recommend assigning this to at least a team or an individual owner. In this case, I'll own this, so I'll go ahead and click the Take Ownership button. So when I assign ownership, I can save this ticket and I could leave. In this case, we're going to go ahead and begin work. So I'm going to get the Begin Work button and we'll start on our next section. We'll investigate and analyze the problem. So our diagnosis is that the printer port, printer port is dead and we're going to select our affected configuration item. So this will bring up our CMDB and allow us to pick a CMDB item. In this case I can see my config printer is already selected so I'll go ahead and select my 101025 printer. This will associate that printer to this problem and if I go down to the configuration items tab I can see some additional details about the printer here. If I wanted to attach another configuration item I could hit the chain link right here and add another printer or uh, item that needs to be attached to this problem. In this case, it's just that one, so we're going to leave this alone. Next, we're going to need to enter some information as a workaround for this particular problem. So we'll come into the workaround and known error section and enter some information here. The information that you put into this workaround section is going to be the information that will help your users work around this issue until the permanent resolution is provided. And this information is what's going to be visible in this knowledge article or on the known error database in the portal. So it's very important to put as much information as pertinent. Once you have a workaround, you have a couple of different options. You can assign this uh, printer or this uh, problem to a knowledge base article and you could hit this to create the knowledge article. You can publish this to the known errors in the portal, or you can tweet this as a known error. The publish known error in portal is a great feature. It allows you to publish this problem to your customer portal and allows customers to subscribe to this problem and create an incident against this problem record. So when I publish this as a known error in the portal, I'll see a red text across the top that says publish known error in the portal. And when I open the portal, I'll actually see this in my service alerts section. So I'll open up the IT service desk section. I can see under my service alerts that I have this printer issue, upstairs printer not printing, and when I select it, I can see the details of that printer and actually say that this affects me too. So when I select this affects me too, it gives me my ticket number and lets me know that my incident has been created against this problem. So when I come back into the technician client, I'll see that I have an incident attached to my problem record, and this is from that affects me too section on the portal. The great thing about this is it helps me manage these tickets all from this problem record. So I can send an email and update my customers, type out my message here in the prompt window, and then when I actually click OK, the message will send out to all of the customers with attached tickets. If I wanted to remove that from the portal, it's as simple as hitting remove known error from portal. Uh, and now that's no longer available. So once I've done my root cause analysis, I'll go ahead and come down to this resolve section. 
I'll type out the notes of what I actually did for a resolution. And once that's entered, I'll go ahead and select my cause code. So in this case, we'll go ahead and enter notes and select hardware failure. So we're gonna go ahead and say set as resolved. Our issue is now resolved. So once I've resolved my problem, I'm going to want to go through and update all the incidents attached. So we'll come down here to this Resolve Attached Incidents section, and this will actually step through all the attached incidents and mark them as resolved also. So you can see now this issue is in status resolved. My customer will receive an email with these details, and uh, the process will continue through your Resolve to Close process. So now I can actually close this problem, save it, and I'm all done. So that's problem. So if you guys have any questions about this, uh, you can go ahead and comment on this video, send us an email, or tweet at us. Uh, please subscribe to the channel and you'll see we publish YouTube videos every week, and we hope you have a wonderful day.